What is up, YouTube? It's me, your boy, Michael, back with another episode of our Let's Play of Age of Mythology Extended Edition, the Titans Campaign. As I stated in the last, uh, at the end of the last episode with that little snippet, um, found out by doing some research that the New Atlantis Campaign actually is the campaign of the Titans uh, expansion packs. So we will be playing this and um, enjoying it fervently <clears throat> last episode we had uh um the old man from atlantis the prime minister as well as castor all grown up uh escape to a new land a new homeland um from the frozen north uh and uh yeah we uh we fought against um some of the northern tribes we also fought against uh we also used some teleporters uh kind of like stargates except for interplanetary or intercontinental travel uh to transport from one place to another um yeah definitely a new way of doing things definitely a lot more sci-fi-ish uh than uh uh, actually just fantasy. I mean, it's it, it's not unheard of in fantasy, but it's still really strange. And the balancing issues, I won't even get started on those. Um, but anyway, without any further ado, let's get into it. Uh, with the help of the Titans, the Atlanteans relocate and start to rebuild New Atlantis. Number two, Atlantis Reborn. Those look like Atlanteans? <clears throat> look at this. You are truly favored, Krios, to have been shown the way to such a place. The gods have favored Atlantis, but not the Olympian gods. What? Look, the symbol on the passage that brought us here. That's the mark of the Titan Oranos. Next to our settlement is a temple of his. Beside it is one to Kronos, these are clear signs. These are the gods who have led us here. Their temples are overgrown. We should restore them as a sign of our gratitude. It is forbidden. Creos is right. It's Castor, son of Arcantos. What was Zeus doing for us back there? At least Oranos has led us here. If he favors us, we're better offering prayers to him than having none look after us. Look! They're going into the Temple of Oranos. We must put a stop to this at once. Oh, this is interesting. Let's reclaim these temples and rebuild Atlantis. All right. Yuji? We don't have very many resources. Castor, so... we have just enough resources to restore the temples. After that, we'll need to gather more. Also. All right. Get started. Attackers! Ergios. Epora Frost. Yuji? Those were Greeks, Krios. So why did they attack us? Yuji? One thing for sure, we definitely start out with a good population limit. Fanatics are our heroes, okay. Another Greek attack! I just got a message. Yuji? Bure. Kind of looks like a large mole. 
or like a large, a huge version of a, uh, um, with tusks of a, uh, The temples are repaired, Krios. Good work! What are they called? Um... There's a specific animal, which I don't remember the name of it, and it's a really adorable little thing. I, uh... Um... Oh man, it's gonna bug me now. Um, uh, it's like an armadillo mixed with a... It, it looks kind of like sand true, like if... A pangolin! A pangolin, that's what it's Ooh. called. Um, it looks yeah. like a large pangolin. Nice. You see? Mark. Gure, gure. You see. So you can make any unit a hero. That's interesting. Fanatics. Good against all non archer millet soldiers and myth units. Benefits infantry improvements. Yuji? Good against infantry and myth units. So you don't need granaries or storehouses. They just come with their own thing built in, with their own supply chain built in. That's kind of cool. Capjos, fly in. Here at Linton, citizens gather resources and build all other buildings. Build buildings. Sky Passage. Get our three main resources. Come on. Have Joseph. Alright, Greek city advances to the classical age of the wisdom of Athena. Nice. Definitely, they definitely uh, re um, produce units a lot slower, but they seem to be hella powerful. Behemoth. Let's see what this has to say. Uh, myth unit, living siege weapon that regenerates. Behemoths are living siege weapons. They regenerate, making them even tougher to kill than the scarabs of the Egyptians. Use them against buildings, keep but keep them away from enemy heroes. The Titans languished in Tartarus. The Olympians who trapped them there wished to punish us. Worshippers of the Titans, they hunted us, but we hid in the shadow of Behemoth, who was as tall as the mountains and as, twice as long. He protected us, bellowing as Zeus's lightning struck his thick armor. Cal Caladria blessed Behemoth and healed him after every stroke of Zeus's lightning. The Olympians could not break tireless Behemoth, and they returned to the Olymp to Olympus. We were safe. Oaths of the Oracles, the Lady of Iolita. Al
So what I'm gathering is that uh, uh, the Olympians are a very expensive, uh, powerful race, kind of akin to the uh, the Protoss in uh, StarCraft, and the the Titan civilization, the Atlanteans, are that plus. They are the Greeks, and then some. Uh, their guys are really slow and really, really overly powered, but they are powerful as all get out if you can get them online. Alright, let's get this. We have Oceanus or Prometheus. Prometheans, myth unit, men of clay, the divide in two when killed. That's awesome. Serent, Caladria. Has no attack, can only be attacked by ranged weapons. Weightless mace. Carnivora spawns a giant man eating plant. Heart of the Titans, Alluvial Clay, Prometheans. Worship Prometheus, Titan God of Forethought. His improvements can help create more heroes. Worship Orcianus, Titan God of Water. His improvements help your infantry. We're gonna choose Prometheus. On, on gold right now, so we're gonna speed up food production or food gathering, I guess is a better way of putting it. And we are at. Caster, sir, the attacks are coming from. A Greek Caster. attack! are just better in every way than the Greeks. That's impressive. Got drills? Canterbury strength cavalry, counter archer, and counter infantry units. Interesting. So they don't have a um Archer range in a stable, they have a barracks and a counter barracks. That's interesting. That's very interesting. And it's only been a few minutes and we've already built a, uh, we've already gotten a, um, a huge amount of food brought in. Yuji. 
RNG. Also, this is definitely coming together. This is nice. Bullwreck. Okay, we have two new gods. We have Iperion, Titan God of Watching and Observation. His improvements benefit your heroes. With the Gemino, Hyperion doubles the amount of javelins your satyr throws. Once your heroes regenerate. And the Nerald, good against other myth units. Other myth units. Can throw multiple spears. The sets here, kind of like the um, a <coughs> excuse me, kind of like a, a javelin version of the uh, centaur. And then we have Thea, uh, Titan Goddess of Sight. Her improvements help your cavalry. We have Lemurian Descendants. They increases the line of sight of all of your human soldiers and heroes. Poseidon's Secret. Thea steals the secrets of Poseidon and gives your cavalry more speed and attack. And then we have Lance of Stone. Thea improves Cantarius' uh, hero attack, especially versus buildings. We also have the Stymphalian Bird. Um, uh, attack units. Uh, attack units from the air can only be attacked by ranged units. And we also have Hesperides. Um, select location to create a tree that will allow your you to train Dryad myth units from it. We're gonna choose the uh... nice. Also, okay, and let's create a manor. It's lost. All right, these guys are very, very, very prone to turtling. ready to go and do this I think that the fanatic is the is the hero unit of this thing fanatic war cultist devoted to one titan or another presented a great threat to ruling priest class of early Atlantis they were powerful destructive and bowed to no law but their own after the titans were imprisoned some groups of cultists still eager for blood but aware of their sudden vulnerability, organized under the banners of Atlantis, they were uh, they were the fanatics. They fought with two swords, disdaining the protection of a shield. Interesting. Okay. 
In case you guys didn't know, this is a trick you can use in almost every game of this type. If you keep on clicking on this, it actually builds faster. Okay, so you can make destroyers with these guys, alright. Wait, you can use them multiple times? Holy crap. Jesus Christ. Jesus H. Christ. get around if we built some sky passages. Yuji? It's lost. Yuji. And they just make this game easy. Also, Holy crap. Also, also, it's lost. And they it's just lost. pass us right by. It's lost. Most intum. It's lost. It's lost. See, that's German. Music. That's Japanese. It's lost. That's German again. Also, it's lost. Yuji. Mak. Yuji. Yuji. It's lost. Yuji. Yuji. This... I don't want to speak too soon, but this might be a little bit too it's easy lost. for our... For our little Yuji. thing. It's like, lost. holy crap. Yuji. Nice, kill them all. Sorry, villager. Or citizen, whatever you're called. Yuji, 
are breaking through the pass. We have to stop them. to the city. Excellent. Wow. These are supposed to be the Greek colonies and they completely took that out. We only have one... Okay, left. That's sad. Atlanteans! It's true. The town center is destroyed. The Greeks are retreating. We did it. Nice. A video. The last of them are escaping. Grios, they were Greek. Why would they attack us? Whatever the reason, it is an outrage. Get your troops together, Castor. We're in no shape to start a war now. I will get some men and go after the Greeks, but I want to find out why an old ally would suddenly attack us before we start any fighting. Very interesting. Mm. Things are starting to come together, methinks. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to support the channel, be sure to check out my Patreon, where you can get access to exclusive content and access to my Discord server. Also, be sure to uh, hit that uh, bell icon to get notifications about my new videos, which I upload multiple times a week, these ones being on Sundays. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Like it if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And subscribe if you want to see more. Um, lastly, follow the links on the screen to see old playlists, playlists that are new, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Michael Shockman, and I'll see you guys again soon in the ancient world. Peace out.